I must find that bandit. Yes, here is a note from him. He gave you a letter to give me. Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. Oh, you flatter me. You should visit my friend Emuzet Brack. Bra Brack? Yes, Brack in Telarun. She's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Mm, you trying to set me up with someone? I see. Wonderful. Right. Um. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Well met. Greetings. Right. Well, you. Uh. Oh, he has your glove. Yes, I didn't give you back your glove. So go, go be with Nelos. Get your glove back, and and have lots of the sex. Let's go down this road. See what we might find. Nothing in those flowers. Rest up a bit, see if maybe I can get a rest of St. Morris off. Yeah, wow, doing pretty well on that, uh, on the success chances of that spell. I don't know why this cliff racer isn't coming down. Well, they always take their time. Pretty common. Fine. I will go about my business, and whenever you want to come attack me. No. It's not the... Ancestral tomb. At least it's something that we can fight instead of. <laughs> what is wrong with this cliff racer? Please come down. Please. I would very much like to fight you. If I go up this hill, does that make things easier for you? There we go. And another one. <clears throat> this one was a little bit more decisive, though. This L Laron ancestral tomb. <coughs> Ooh. That's a nice little thing. I would have just. Yeah, I, I, I would have just fallen down there if it weren't for this bone walker. Now, is that permanent? No, he didn't permanently drain my stats. Lock level 50, huh? Well, I already know I can't do that, so... Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Ah, that just bypasses the trap. Wait, but I want to see what was down this little hall. Or does that just... Does that just take me down stick? Does everything just take me downstairs? The trap included. Or the hole included, better said. Yes. Oh. The 
this one's tougher. Slightly. But its spells are pretty ineffective, so... Over encumbered. Strength... Incredibly reduced. Strength at zero. <laughs> Alright. Ah, because this is a greater bone walker, so the greater bone walker's spells are permanent. Right. I see. Right, restore strength. 66% chance. And it's getting nice and restored. Up to 15. To 30. When it wears off, we'll be at 49. Right, one more. There we go. And endurance as well. Okay, everything nice and restored. Good thing we have those spells. 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 5. Axe Skill. Hmm. So a point of strength, eh? I don't think that's too... distressing. Uh, cruel flame bolt ring. Well, expensive amulet. Okay. So I have something else that's actually better than my fire dart. Well, fire dart is 7 to 18. And that cruel flame bolt ring is 8 to 16. Did I say 7 to 18? If I did, I meant 7 to 8 on target. And then this is 8 to 16, so that's actually really good. Okay. Fine. Fire dart, officially obsolete right now, but no matter. No matter at all. Right, we did spend that scroll unlocking this door, so I'm gonna definitely have to see what's over here. Well, a bone walker of some sort. Lock level 10. Easy enough. Ah, greater bone walker. Fine, we will just have to restore our stats again. Ah, but just strength. Good. Messenger scroll, summon scamp. Sure, I'll have that. It'll sell nicely, at least. And what's this? Tomb door key. Scroll of red despair. Nothing else. A chest with some pretty worthless stuff. Tomb door key, huh? What tomb door? It's wooden door. Is, is the thing I unlocked, is that the tomb door? Wooden door. Hmm. Okay, so I have a key, and I don't know what it's for. Do I have a lock spell? No, I don't. Yes, I do. 
I do have a lock spell. And I want to see if this key is for this. No, it's not. So what is this key for? Tomb door key. Hmm. I'm very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. There was nothing down here. I wonder if that's some type of quest item. So intrigued right now. I wonder what that key is for. Gonna have to try to remember that I picked up a tomb door key. Oh, there's a person over there. Who are you? You are also levitating, like Sugar Lips Habasi. I'll be with you in just a second. Nevrasa Dralor. Hello, please can you help me? I've lost my way and cannot find the holy place for which I am searching. Holy place, you say? Yes, the fields of Kumu. I've been to the fields of Kumu, I think. Uh, I am on a pilgrimage to this holiest of places, but I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Surely you know this area better than I. I can pay you for your time, say 150 septims. Um, no, I'm sorry, I haven't the time. Sure, I'll eventually find it. Take care, traveler. Uh, it's this, wasn't it? Yes, Fields of Kumu. There we go. So I have been there. Okay, but no, for 150 septums, I'm not going to walk all the way over there. I'm, I'm going west. It's in the complete opposite direction. You want me to take you northeast? I'm going west. Well, northwest. Still. amounts of heather in these parts. Sadly, quite devoid of things to kill. Oh. Oh. Well. That's a Kwama worker, I believe, so this will be an egg mine. Shurdan Raple egg mine. No reason to go in there. And again, egg mines do tend to have little scribs and rats and stuff. Maybe we do go in here and check it out. Maybe there will be a Kwama warrior to kill as well. Oh, that's an awfully red mist. Just get a little bit of fatigue back, though. Kwama warrior, isn't it? I think it is. Yes, yes it is. And it's absolutely kicking my ass. Okay. Um, life ring. Thankfully it's glitched out behind this little rock and it can't do anything about it. <coughs> Did it just hurt itself with its spell? It cast it on this rock and I think it, it hurt itself. Blighted Kwama Warrior. No wonder it was so tough to kill. There's another one up there. Oh, there are two up there. Oh, 
Well, come on. Whenever you want. Well, I'm a warrior. You big, disgusting behemoth. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, you were a, a lot easier to kill than the blighted one. Oh, crap. Stone's casting. That hurts a lot. That one was also blighted. Is it just the blighted ones that cast? I don't think so. There's a, oh, there's another one. Oh, no more charges on my ring. Um, let's try to get a Voleth's grace off. Good. Actually, another Volus Grace would be perfect. Exactly 20 hit points. Good. Ah, because they're protecting the queen. The queen is in this room. Well, I honestly have no intention. I have contracted Chanthrax Blight. Great. Agility and speed reduced by 35 and 27 points. Holy hell. Uh, yeah, I have no intention of attacking the Kwama Queen. I just wanted to come in here to gain a little bit of spear experience. And I don't think I should ruin an egg colony or a Kwama colony just for that. So I think we will be leaving now. It's awfully misty in here anyway. I don't like it. Right, so I have contracted my first Blight. Good thing is, I have... Where are you? Cure Blight Disease. Sadly, it's only one. I only have one of these. But, there we go. Blight cured. Let's resume our exploration of these lands. There's a mine over there. Ah, this is the little suspension bridge for the, um, what was it, the Shulk Egg Mine quest? Yep, that's the Shulk Egg Mine. So that's the, um, that's the little suspension bridge, and this was the quest that we did for the Fighters Guild, I believe. To kill the poachers that were stealing eggs. Okay, so I know where I am now. Rat over there. Ah, and a couple of Kwama foragers. Good. I'm incredibly low on fatigue and magicka as well. Hopefully nothing damages me too much. Might just have to quaff a potion. What is this place? Vasir Didanat Cave. Might go in there. Just gonna get my fatigue up a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh, that's right. I'm carrying all these potions. Oh, damn. 
Well, let's get a little bit of Magicka back with these incredibly crap cheap Magicka potions or cheap restore Magicka that are just absolutely abysmal. Let's get a couple of Veloth's graces going once I get um, max fatigue. I want that cast chance to be as high as possible just to make sure I'm not wasting Magicka. Maybe a couple of, um, repairs on this spear. Oh, three in a row. Very, very nice. That's incredibly rare to see when you have armor skill of 15. That was very nice. Right. Full fatigue. Let's get a couple of Veloth's graces at 62% cast chance. Up to 57. Beautiful. One more. Ah. Alright. Wow, this is a... this is a dark place. Yeah, very dark little mine... cave, sorry. But it looks like a mine. It has these sort of mine cart rails. Oh, this is an ebony mine. Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. A rat. Yeah, this is an ebony mine. Oh, crap. Oh, is that a fire outronach? Yes, it is. Hello, fire outronach. Let's get you. Oh, yes. I'm a Donmer. You can barely do anything against me. Actually, your fire spell is, was surprisingly effective, considering I'm a Donmer. I don't have... Uh... Oh, was Fire Atronach lesser soul gems or common? I think it was common. Yeah, I don't have any common soul gems. Um, and even then, I only have... Effigies, gem feeder. How many of those do I have? Oh, I've got five. I've got five. I can soul trap, but again, I don't have common soul gems. So if I do run into another fire Atronach, there's no reason to care about trapping its soul because I can't. Oh, speak of the Atronach, not the devil, but the Atronach. Let's try to get a heal off. Don't, no, no, don't cast on me. Oh, this thing is hurting me. This thing is hurting me. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Do I have enough magic for a heal? Yes, but it failed. <laughs> what a dark room. What an incredibly dark room. Oh, Ebony. Hello. Um. That is incredibly heavy, though. Yeah, I think I think we just leave the ebony here. If I if I need ebony, I know where an ebony mine is. It's close to the suspension bridge for the egg poacher quest. What was it? Ah, Vasir Didanat Cave. Okay. So if I need ebony, I know where to come pick it up. But I think I'll be leaving it here for now. Can I even reach that one up there? Yes, I can. Oh, two there, five there, four. Very nice. So much ebony. But I'm not particularly low on money. I don't really need them for any kind of alchemy or anything like that, so I think we can just leave it all here. This is an incredibly dark cave, though. Oh, that's, um... Is this our first... What, was he, what were these called? Is that Shulk? Is that a Shulk? These are, um... I think these are the best petty soul gem creatures. 
And sadly, I don't have magic for a soul trap, so let's go ahead and use one of the effigies gem feeder scrolls. There we go. Trap the soul. Shulk. Yes. Yes. We have trapped a shulk's soul. If we see any more shulks in here... We still have a couple of these scrolls. Four more. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Another basic shock. These are the best, um, I'm pretty sure I remember them being the best uh, petty soul gem creature to trap. It's a lot of ebony in here. Very nice. Is that it? Yes, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Great little place. Sadly, it is very, very dark. I can't see if there's a chest or anything anywhere. This is a mine card, it looks like. I don't know if it's just the, the darkness of this cave or if it's the, the glare on my screen. But I find it very hard to see anything in here. So I think we I, I think it's best we leave. But definitely good to remember if I need to farm Flame Atronach Souls or Shulk Souls uh, to come here. Because um, the good thing about... Oh, oh, do I have the hit points for this? Yes, I think I should. I think I... Ooh, have, I've contracted Yellow Tick. You absolute bastard. Okay. Um, is that just a basic... Is that just a basic disease? Do I have... Oh, I don't have Cure Common Disease, do I? Do I have a scroll of Cure Common Disease? <laughs> I'm getting very diseased now. Ah, Cure Common Disease. Dideng's Panacea. Pretty sure that's a common... Yes, that is a common disease. Um, what was I going to say? Ah, yes, the, the good thing about uh, Morrowind is that um, when you leave, not necessarily bandit caves or caves with um, caves and mines with people in them, I think they stay permanently dead, but any type of um, regular NPC or mob, you can just leave the place. You don't have to spend any time outside waiting or anything. You just need to leave the place, come back in, and voila, another rat. Probably another shock further down, and there should be a flame atronach right there. So yeah, you can just, um, any kind of ancestral tomb, if you want to get a bunch of e ectoplasm, or, uh, you know, trap skeleton souls, or flame atronach souls, you just find a place where they spawn, and just go in and out, and in and out, and in and out, over and over and over, and trap all the souls you want. Very, very useful little tidbit of information for Morrowind. Right, so we've made it here. Hlormaren. Ah, that was a stronghold, I believe. Um, there should be some settlements here on these little islands and stuff like that. I, I can't remember if there's one down here probably check. No reason not to. Oh, and I think when, um, when I fought that Flame Atronach, I'm pretty sure my medium armor went up a tiny little bit. 